Hi everyone, welcome back to the Angular 10 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about pipes. Pipe is used to transform data and it is denoted by symbol pipe sign. Pipe takes integer, strings, arrays and date as an input and separated with pipe sign. All right. It transforms the data in the format as required and display the same in the browser. Angular 10 provides some built-in pipes like uh, a string pipe, date pipe, currency pipe, JSON pipe, percent pipe, decimal pipe, and slice pipe. Alright, so let's see how we can use pipe in Angular 10. So switch to the project and uh, here uh, before using pipe, let's create some property. Okay, so just open app.component.ts file and here creates uh, create some property uh, let's create a string property so just type here full name is equal to just enter the name any name let's say mark zone all right now create a property for date so just type here current date new date okay now create a property for array so just write here float and create an array just enter some element here let's say mango orange apple pineapple and last one banana all right now create an object here so just write here user and inside this let's write here the name let's say mark song all right age 24 email Let's say mark one at the rate gmail.com. All right, this is the object a string, date, uh, array, and object property. All right, now save this file and now let's see the usage of pipe. So, first of all, see the string pipe. So, go to the app.component.html file and here. I'm just going to print uh, this a string here. So just write here inside the interpolation double curly bracket. Just write here full name. Okay, this variable. Now save this file, and you can see in the browser full name mark zone. Okay. Now. Uh, if you want to print this name in uppercase, so for that, just use the pipe sign here and simply write here uppercase. Okay. All right. Now save this file and uh, you can see here the name marks on in uppercase. All right. And if you want to display it in uh, lowercase. So for that, just write here uh, full name, pipe sign, and here lowercase. Okay. Now save this file and okay, a spelling mistake. Lower case. Now save the file and check again. And you can see here the name in lower case. Okay. Now let's see the date pipe. Okay, so let's print here the date variable to so current date. So just write here. First of all, use the break tag. And here simply print the date. So just write here in double curly bracket current date. Okay, and let's check it. 
you can see here the complete date and time okay now uh, just print the the print the, the date in a specific format okay so for that just add here the pipe sign and write here the date and in single quote just write here the date format okay so i'm just going to type here uh, day month and year okay now save this file and see the result and you can see here day month and year okay all right and now if you want to print time only so for that just write here date colon and inside the double quote simply write here sort time okay now save this file and here you can see here the time okay now let's see the json pipe okay so for that just to display this json uh, property so just right here add here the gear tag and simply just add here the json property name pipe sign and json okay now save this file and here you can see the json object okay now let's see the currency pipe so for that just write here inside the double curly bracket any currency let's say 25.12 okay and you can see here the amount 25.12 okay if you want to print this amount with currency symbol so then you have to use here pipe sign and uh, just write here currency colon and inside the single code just write here the currency name usd or us dollar okay now save this file and it compiling and you can see here dollar 25.12 okay all right now let's see the decimal pipe so for that just add here any decimal value let's say this four uh, five point this one okay now check the decimal value and you can see here the decimal value all right here if you want to display only two number after the decimal so for that what do i do so just write here number colon inside the single quote just write here the 2.2 dash 2 okay after decimal point minimum 2 and maximum 2 okay now save this file and check it okay number okay just add here the pipe sign the pipe sign is missing now save this file and here you can see uh, 45.35 okay after decimal number now in last let's see the slice pipe so for that just uh, i'm going to use this array so just uh, hit this array roots so for that just write here in double curly bracket roots and if i check you can see here Uh, compiling you can see here the fruits name mango orange apple pineapple and this banana 
now I'm going to slice this uh, from here to here okay I'm just going to slice this so just right here slice and uh, pass uh, just right here the slice pipe sign slice colon and pass here the index value so let's index value this one one and uh, colon okay three so just write here three now uh, this index is not included okay it only shows one and two index value okay now save this file, uh, this file and just let's check and you can see here orange and pixel so this way you can use pipes in angular 10 so that's all about angular 10 pipes so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching